This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Central Texas Life with Ann Harder presents Central Texas Events. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Central Texas Events. And I am so happy to introduce you to Tony Mino, who is director of the Advent Health Foundation for Central Texas. And uh, I'm just really excited to, to have this chance to talk to you. We mm-hmm. met a week or so ago there in Killeen, where uh, Advent Health is located. And, uh, you know, foundations are so important to any organization, but especially to a health center like Advent Health. Um, let's talk a little bit about the foundation, but but we want to tell you about a wonderful extravaganza that's coming up um, to help support the foundation. Yes. Well, Ann, thanks for having me today. It is a pleasure to come and talk about the hospital. Uh, and the foundation, because I have a wonderful board that, that works hard to go out and, uh, and raise dollars to help support the departments and equipment and stuff that they might need. Well, I, I really have had a, a kind of a unique opportunity to uh, sort of have an immersive experience with visiting with several people on staff, from doctors to the CEO, mm-hmm. to, to, to learn more about Advent Health and the wonderful mission of this organization and uh, and how it's really impacting the health of Central Texans in uh, in the greater Colleen area. Yes, Advent Health is uh, maybe the only uh, faith-based hospital with our mission being extending the healing uh, ministry of Christ. Uh, and they, um, it helps the patients. They they do pray a lot and uh, and, and that helps the faith in, in getting them mentally um, um, prepared. Well, I mean, uh, the spiritual component is so important uh, when it comes to the, you know, mind, body, you know, and the spirit. It's, it's an important part of that healing process, I believe. You know, it is. Uh, you know, I've spent a lot of years in the in, in the health industry, and and it was, uh, you know, the spiritual part of uh, spirit, mind, and body is is very important. Uh, you know, because when you're working out and sometimes it gets grueling, you, you know, you, <laughs> you, you really, you say to yourself, oh, Lord, get me through this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you made a little cryptic reference to the fact that for 19 years, almost 20 years, you were the uh, director of the, the, the uh, YMCA. Yes. I was the <laughs> <There>. of y- <laughs> and so, yeah, the whole working out, there's a guess sometimes it's like, will I survive this workout? Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's really an important um, part of our, you know, our physical well-being. Um but a, a part of the, uh, the financial well-being, obviously, of uh, Advent Health is the foundation. So you've been now with the foundation for four uh, almost years. Almost right, a little over four and a half four years. Four and a half years, yeah. yeah. And um, they looking back online, you know, at some of the previous events, wonderful, fabulous yeah. gala events. Yes, our gala is outstanding. And I will tell you, when I started with the hospital, it was the first day COVID broke out, and they were shutting all the businesses oh, and no. schools down. Yeah. So I didn't even know if I was going to have a job. <laughs> you know, oh, it was kind wow. of like, wait a minute, how am I going to go talk to people? They're 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 not at work. Oh you know? my gosh. So, it, but it's been it, it's been, and that was actually a great experience because I got to uh, actually going out to businesses to support the staff. Yeah. Um, you know, they couldn't leave the hospital. And the numbers of people coming into the hospital were tremendous, and the staff need to be there. So my job was I was out seeking and getting uh, donations and support to, that we can feed them uh, and so they wouldn't have to go out. We'd bring food in and, and keep them in their, in their station. Right. Well, COVID certainly um, did shine the focus mm-hmm. on health care providers yes. and hospitals and just how – um, how important that work is and how how taxing it was to uh, those providers, yeah. you know, both mentally and emotionally and it, just all that was involved with COVID. Mm-hmm. Uh, but since you have been able to have your have your galas, yeah. wonderful, fun things. And the one that's coming up is uh, on uh, November 6th at the Colleen Civic and Conference Center. And I love the theme Un- because it's like a masquerade. Yes. It but is. it's black and white. Black and white. It's not Mardi Gras, necessarily. It's not a Mardi Gras. It's right. kind of a New York theme uh, masquerade. And um, it uh, will feature the Royal Dukes Band. Which, which is will, a wonderful group. Yes, which will play jazz, will play country, can play oldies. 
60s, 70s, 80s. Uh, and we're actually uh, having them, they're going to be playing during dinner, but we're also having them play during social hours. So they'll have two or three of their uh, strings and horns out there, uh, soft music while people are, are mingling around uh, at our silent auction and our gold ticket items and then we later on we'll have a live auction you, you know, are going to have a live auction we are going to as, yeah. as a fundraiser we have a, a whole variety that's, to that's to why we're there money. boys and girls <laughs> yes yeah. yes <laughs> uh, make no mistake this is a fundraiser <laughs> <laughs> and we are anticipating at least 600 people oh wow to be there yeah so. and in the middle of the week it is maybe a little bit of an odd night yes. a wednesday night um but but that's good and it and it does start early so it's going to yes. be as we go from 5.30, and we promise we will have you out before 9.30. Okay, so it's a weeknight, but yeah, yeah it what a fun way to kind of break yeah. up the week, though, with this um, unmasking the giving, which is sort of, I, I just love the the kind of motto, the catch yeah. line that I, I think that was a Sherry Hoffpower, is that right? Yes, yeah, I yes. Think Sherry she, came, I, uh, came up my, with it at the board meeting. My and, good uh, friend, she's on your board, and of course, I've known her at Channel 25 yeah. as uh, our account rep and she she just really has a great idea here with this saying unmask the giving and uh i've i'm gonna I already found my mask that i've ordered to wear and and it needs to be black or white right because well, we're wearing be, black or white right we've got black black or white or gold we have okay we have, we have some gold on the tables we okay. have we have black white and gold on the yeah, tables you want kind of want the gold yeah yeah i want the gold and the, <laughs> the pot of gold it. on the table i get it <laughs> i get it um well this you know really it's going to be a lot of fun and i'm i'm thrilled to be able to be there with my husband and we like to dance and so i think there'll probably be a, maybe a little bit of dancing from us but mm -hmm. uh i'm i'm really thrilled to be there to uh, help him see and to uh, to see my friends there in Colleen. This is, um, again, set for November 6th at the Colleen Convention and Civic Center. Are you selling individual tickets? Or are these uh, tables? How we, are you doing? We do both. Okay. You can buy a table of eight, or you can buy individual t individual seats. And, and what's the best way to do that? How can we do that? Uh, we can go online, or you can, uh, if you email me or call me, I can uh, give you the link to go online, or I can email you the registration packet for a table uh, in the flyer. Well, of course, all of this is uh, in support of the uh, Advent Health Foundation, and, uh, and I encourage you to learn more about Advent Health and mm -hmm. and how it's impacting the lives, as I say, there in, in the greater Colleen area, but there are also satellite clinics you have as well, right? Well, we have uh, the family medical clinics in Cove, in Lampasas. Uh, then we also have the Rollinsbrook Community Hospital as part of as part of our system uh, with us, and then they have a what they call it um, primary care physicians in Harker Heights that just opened uh, probably less than a year ago. Yeah, that's it's the yeah. newest, I believe, the newest in the right. in the the, the circle of uh, providing yeah. there of healthcare, and and it, it makes it easier for folks to get appointments and to be able to be seen by a, a physician or nurse practitioner or yes yeah it, is, it has been uh, it has been a, a, a interesting uh, four and a half years learning the medical uh, right. field it, and and the needs and um, but uh, my board is like I said I have, I have 20 board members and if you're anybody out there listening if you're interested in in being involved uh, in uh, not afraid to go out and, and raise money or talk to people in the community about events that we have. We'd, yeah. we'd love to have you on the board. Uh, we're always looking for board members. But uh, they go out. Uh, we do a golf tournament. Uh, and then next Thursday, the uh, 26th in the evening at, at the hospital, we are doing a Shine the Light. It's for breast cancer. We're raising money to provide free mammograms to people who don't have insurance. And yeah. uh, so... Uh, you can come out for that event. We're having fireworks. So it'll be a nice, fun evening. It's going to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just a lot of excitement and and creativity creativity, mm -hmm. and in planning um, things to kind of kind of focus on the aspect of, of raising money, yeah. um, particularly for, for something like health care, though. It's just so important, yeah. um, so important for folks. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> well, I like to end these visits with a little questionnaire. It's it's similar to the one the late great James Lipton would use on Inside mm -hmm. the Actor's Studio. And uh, so, so Tony, I'm going to ask you these questions real quick. What is what is your favorite word? Oh gosh, I'm <laughs> you didn't know there was going to be a test. No, did I didn't. You? <laughs> I, I should have. I would have prepped on the drive up. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite word. I won't, uh, a lot of times somebody will say something or my kids, my grandkids uh, will say something and you look at me and kind of go, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> okay. What is your least favorite word? Oh, um, uh, gosh. When you respond to s someone and they ask back, are you sure? <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. That's kind of, I thought as a fundraiser yeah. you'd say no. <laughs> no, no, because we you don't to, like to hear that we, either. Because because we get that, and, and there's an old saying in fundraising: three no's equal a yes. Okay, there you go. Hey, that's so, a that's a new one for me. Yeah. What turns you on creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Well, just seeing when you're having an event, and you just see the folks out there having a great time. Yeah. You know, we do a golf tournament. Uh, we've done a clay shoot. Uh, you know, and, and people look at those. Well, those are competitive events. No, they're not. It's watching the folks just having fun, mm -hmm. enjoying a day with their friends, enjoying a day with other people in the community. And they know they're all doing uh, for the same cause, to raise money right. to support the hospital. And doing something they enjoy. Yes. Too, and they on get, top of it. They get away from work and get to go do hey, something get to, they enjoy. Hey, a day yeah. on the golf course, right? Yeah. Um, what turns you off creatively or spiritually or emotionally? Well, when I'm, when I'm in, in meetings and we're trying to plan an event, I don't like when people try to shut things down. Right. You know, because, you know, we have 20 board members that are all creative. And if you put all of the creativity on the table, you will end up with a great event. Yeah. Because you'll, you'll, you'll pick what works together and what doesn't. The things that don't will go, but they might mm -hmm. fit another event that you're right. going to do. Right. So you, you never want to show it, it because when you shut down uh, folks, then folks don't like to share down right. the line. Just, and, and you're missing golden opportunity yeah. uh, for what they have. And, and the people are there because they want to help. That means that they... They, they feel they have a great creativity, so mm -hmm. let, them, let them bring it out. Yeah, you don't want to turn off that right. creativity. What is your favorite sound? My favorite sound. Oh, boy. I'm, that's a tough one because I'm a sports fan. Okay. Ah. Yeah. And I love baseball. Okay, so the crack I, of the bat. I, I'd have to say it'd be the crack of the bat. <laughs> I have one you know, step ahead of you on that. You know, my husband's a baseball fan because too. Because yeah. I love it. And, and you know, and, and <laughs> if you watch this baseball today, they, they're making, like all sports, they're trying to make the offense rule. Yeah. You know, God score points. And I love a one nothing ball game because any crack of the bat could be the winning. Yeah, that's hit, true. Yeah, you know? you're right. And, and that uh, means the pitching's very good. That's right. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> well, what what is your least favorite sound? Oh, uh, gosh, that's a tough one. Um, probably when something drops and breaks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. What I mean, other profession would you like to have tried? I mean, you've been CEO at the director of a Y for. Mm -hmm. Big bulk of your career. Uh, well, I would love to uh, play baseball. <laughs> All right. Uh, baseball. Okay. Well, that makes total sense. Yeah. I mean, that would have been fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what job do you know you would not like to do? No, thanks. Don't know. Well, my, my boss is the CEO, mm -hmm. and I do not want his job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> He has a tough job, but he does it very well. Yeah, and he does. And he under, understands the people in the process of what what has to be done. Yeah. And that takes a, a rare talent. When you have uh, close to 1,000 employees that you've got to uh, sure. coordinate together to, get, to make sure that everybody's uh, taken care of. Mm -hmm. Right, so. right. Um, one last question. 
What do you want to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Hopefully what took you so long. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> you, win the, you win the gold star for, for that. You know, mostly I get, you know, well done, good and faithful servant. Yeah. But <laughs> what? Here so soon, really? <laughs> Oh, man. Tony, it's been fun. Oh. I'm so excited to, uh, first of all, to get to know you yeah. and also to uh, to learn more about Advent Health and the foundation mm -hmm. that you head up so beautifully and and the um, Unmask the Giving Extravaganza, which is coming up. It's a black and white theme masquerade party and gold. Don't forget, don't forget the gold mm -hmm. because it is a fundraiser. Yeah. And uh, this is coming up on November 6th at the Colleen Convention and uh, Civic Center, 530 yeah. star. But, again, how can folks uh, get tickets or buy a table, really? You'd like them, bring your friends. And if they email me at anthony.mino, M-I-N-O, at adventhealth.com, uh, you email me and I will send you the the registration forms where you can fill out and mail back or you can go online and uh, sign up for a table or seats. Awesome. And if you'd like to learn more about the foundation, maybe become a board member. Absolutely. Same We'd way. Love huh? to have you. All right. Well, it's been a delight. Thank you for all that you do for Advent Health huh. and for the foundation. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Enjoy. All right. Thank you for being with us for Central Texas Events and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.